What's up? This is Jamie Madrox from Twisted. And you're peeping out Sofa King Cool? Yeah, you know like Sofa King. Real cool, motherfucker. All right, so King Cool here with Jamie from Twisted. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing good. 20 fucking years, man. 20 years, brother. Holy shit, 20 years. Can you believe it? Uh, yes and no. I mean, yeah, I'm a positive guy, so I'm like, I'm hoping for another 20. I'm, I'm positive for another 20 years, but but it's like, yeah, man, 20 years. Holy shit. That's crazy. Holy right? shit, I feel like a fucking robot. Yeah. Those people come in and they're like, man, when you first brought out that album, I was 16, and now I got three kids. I'm like, you ain't saying you were going to make me feel old, player. You know what I mean? I'm like, ah. Like, what the fuck? But yeah, man, we're still here. We're still blessed to be here, so it's a good thing, man. Amazing. I'm glass half full guy, man. I got to keep it right, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, man. Good shit. You definitely got, like you just mentioned, see the diversity in the crowd. Absolutely, know? absolutely. It's, 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 it, I've seen people come and go, and it's very weird now, because it's like, my brother asked from stage, like, a, a few nights ago, he was like, how many people have never seen Twisted before? Right. And, like, uh, the latter half of the crowd were like, ah, and I'm like, this is so weird because it's a new crowd who has found us probably within the last three years. Right. Has now being subjected to 20 year old music who probably only knows like maybe your Rock the Deads and you know, you right, know, the right. ones that maybe filtered through, you know, the Rock the Deads, the We Don't Dies, which are, again is on Freak Show, but you get what I'm saying. And they're like, what is all this other shit? She ain't afraid. What the fuck is this? You know what I mean? They're just like, Okay, new twisted shit. I guess we'll have to go home and Google this and find out what most tasteless is. You know what I mean? They're yeah. just like, we would just come to represent you guys. So it's kind of a, it's a good and a bad thing, I guess. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a cool thing. I, it's just people are still learning about who we are. 20 years later, they're still finding out who we are. So I guess, I guess when, when Monoxide said we're the world's best kept secret, he wasn't fucking kidding. For sure, man. Fucking A, man. Fucking A, dude. It's crazy, but it's good. For sure. Uh, how do you feel that you've developed over the past 20 years? I mean, from different styling to... Um, I mean, you guys still sound... You sound like Twisted regardless. You that's know awesome. Saying? That's good. That's a good thing. Uh, I, th I think I think we remain grounded. I think, I think like, we'll always be who we are, but but we're forever learning. I feel like that, like, when they, te when they te teach you that, like, uh, the day you stop learning is the day you die. Right. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. So I'm always willing to learn, and I'm always wanting to grow, and I'm always wanting to learn things. But I'm also a firm believer that... You have to have something, you have to change with the times, right. but you always have to keep the base of what made you keep it the same because if you start changing that too much, you start losing your core because I'm a fan of things and, and a lot of times I'll sit with my children and they'll be like, you know, why are you upset, dad? And I'm like, well, because they made a new Batman movie. And they're like, well, aren't you supposed to be happy? And I'm like, yeah, but they keep changing Batman's costume. Yeah, but you said, dad, every time they make a new Batman movie, that means more kids get to enjoy them. Yeah, you're right. And they'll like break it down on me and I'm like, ah, right. from the mouth of babes. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, ah, yeah. oh, kids just school you. And it's like, you know, and they're right. And it's like, but I'll have my own problems with it. But I guess it boils down to always keeping it to the core, keeping the essence of the character and making sure that more generations get to enjoy what you and I enjoyed. Yeah. Or, you know, and that is truly what it's all about. And sometimes people like myself, even I'm, I'm human, I, I lose track of that. And I think that's what we all need to remember a lot more is that it's bigger than us. And, and my brother says that a lot too. It's bigger than Twisted. It's bigger than us. It's more importantly about the fans and the people who enjoy the music and the people who the music has saved their lives and, and, and helped them out in their everyday life. And they use it as, as a medicine or, or fucking a, a way to get through their day-to-day -day life. And, and it's like, it's more important to them to keep it consistent and have that go forward into the future and still stay stylistic. And, and keep the contemporary vibe. Right, right, right. That's the hard shit. That is, that is the industry, baby. That is the industry we are in. And thankfully, we are carefully and clever enough to keep it going. Now, the one thing that I've noticed is that when you speak of your fans, you just don't have fans. You actually have a culture. You know what I'm saying? We do. We do. And, and we're blessed to be a part of that. I think, I think what it is is it's like uh, people, people have invested as much time, life, love into us as we have into them from when we started this. We originally, we, we, uh, we just wanted to be heard. Right. We, wanted, we, we, we initially just wanted to be heard like when we were back even in the days of House of Crazies it was like our first band in case you don't know I don't want to be presumptuous and assume yep, everybody yep. knows shit but we were in a band called House of Crazies and our mission was to just be heard we just wanted to be heard by like the outside people and, and the world and whatnot and it was like uh, you know finally 
more people started to hear us and then you know we did our deal with psychopathic and became twisted and and it was a good while it was a lot of you know in the trenches and, and out there doing doing shows and trying to you know jock for position and 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 out there working to to hustle to we are twisted this is who we are and and building blocks and, and laying bricks to people to understand who we are and then it started to click people started to start painting up like us and started looking like us and then became a holy shit it started to click you know what i mean so it's like yeah it, it 20 years man yeah 20 years you know what i mean years. so it's like it's like Definitely don't take it for granted, you know what I mean? But it's like, it, it's, it's been a long road. I, I wouldn't change it, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Because I believe everything happens for a reason, so I wouldn't change any of it. But it would be cool to, like they say, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty to know some things. I yeah. would have did some things a little different, but it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. For sure, man. Right on, sure. man. Now, you mentioned the House of Crazies. Yeah. You went ahead and made your own label just recently. Mm -hmm. And you got the same people that were with you when you first started out. For Blades sure. In the ROC. Yep. Fucking still with you all this time it's later. It's true. Man. It's true. It's true. Uh, we, we've talked. We've talked a little bit. People have asked us about that. You know what I mean? It's like what I think is, again, we talked a little bit about that at the beginning of this, about the 20-year and the time difference. And, and, and then, like, it's... It's like a generational gap, where whereas like a lot of the we'll call them purists, the people that have been down from the 20 years ago, like you and I or whatever, you yeah. know what I mean. And it's like they're still around. They are still around, but it's like so some of them know about House of Crazies, some of them don't. Right. So it's like you have to factor in on the business aspect that if you were to serve that up now to people, a very small percentage would be like, oh, I know what that is. Right, right. And a lot of other people be like what's this something new again now it's something new and then you're like let me explain yeah, and then you sound like wait a minute i shouldn't have to explain who the misfits are yeah if you don't know who jerry only and doyle von frankenstein then go fuck yourself you know what i mean it's like then you start sounding all cocky and big ballsy and who the fuck are you it's like that's not us right so it's like rather than have to put myself in a position where i have to explain who the mighty roc and hectic and mr bones are it's like if you don't know then you just don't know but we we do have plans of of uh, we have this 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 wonderful fucking uh, uh, shit going on with vinyl. It's it's really hip now. We're we're doing good shit. We got these really cool collector vinyl coming out. So you will see a lot of the old school house of crazies come out of these collector vinyl sets and shit like that. So we're blessed to have that opportunity going down. So for the collectors, for the you and me's out there that still give a shit. You'll be able to have some good shit awesome. coming up for for the Christmas under the tree. A little 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 extra for us guys like that. There'll be some good shit. But you know, for everybody else, I mean, it's like maybe, right. maybe, maybe if we if we can if me and my brother can talk to enough people on Facebook or social media or what what have you and like see if the demographic is there that enough people would know what it is. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But but realistically, you probably get a new song on some bonus shit or something. I mean, we've been talking with Brian ROC for a while, and we're all Jones, and we're like, yeah, we should do it, we should do it. You know, we get together, we joke around. It's like it's the vibes are still there. We're all we're we're them same little kids, man. Right. You know what I mean? We're just missing the pumpkin mask. I mean, yeah. we're always gonna be those dudes, man, forever. That's what's great. No matter how old we get, we'll be in wheelchairs, we're like never season of the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's great. It's good shit. But now you have a different hat on, so to speak. It's true. You are a label owner. We know? are, we are, yeah. Big boy pants now, man. It's 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 a crazy. It's a different time now. So it's like, uh, it's like the things that that really weren't of a concern to me before. Not necessarily even weren't concerned to me before. It's like I have to think of things in three ways now. It what I want to do as an artist, what I want to do as a as a business and then what my business partners want to do as well right so it's like because I, I don't act as you know a sole unit it's like okay here's what jamie madrox wants to do creatively i feel the project should go a b c d e whatever and business wise i don't think it's right that jamie madrox wants to do that and it's like well wait a minute that's like what the fuck how do you step out of your changing hats like yeah, you know what i mean yeah, so it's right. like it's kind of a sick dichotomy like what the fuck kind of you know but it's like 
I'm starting to masterfully learn that you know it's it's if you think about it business wise first you can kind of correct the way that you do the project going into it which is like it's kind of good it's almost like tailoring your budget before you go into it you know right. what I mean like like uh, John Carpenter knowing that he had three hundred thousand dollars to make Halloween as opposed to he had a million dollars to make Halloween right right back in 78 you know that kind of a thing you know it's just it's it's just being a little more minded about the project and 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 knowledge is power man the more we go for we talked about that too yeah. living and learning man you know what I mean it's, it's yeah. just been a process man and I'm I feel blessed the more we go forward man the more we get to know the more the more we get to do this and uh now we've been able to put on a lot of people we, we, we were blessed to bring a lot of our homies with us well put the family back together we got wicked we got boondocks we got blaze we got ROC we brought a lot of new cats we got Gmo we got Lex yeah we got gorilla voltage we got Lars you know what I mean it's like uh, yeah building an army baby name, we're trying to we're trying to put the family back together we're trying to give people the next 25 years of music man we're trying to uh to 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 put it back on the map and give people something to to hold on to the way no limit was once upon a time you know what i mean when it was like fuck just owning a summer give us some years that's it let's man. put it on let's put on some years man let's have some fun man and you guys are doing some exciting new things. I know you guys got your own con coming up next Yes, week, right? yes indeed. February 9th through the 11th in Sterling Heights, Michigan. It's metropolitan Detroit area, man. We got a bunch of people coming in. It's 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 crazy. Again, a new step for us um, outside of outside of our comfort zone. Like uh, we've done the music thing, we've dabbled in the movies, we've dabbled in a little bit of television. We just had a comic book debut yesterday, right. so that was just New York like City Comic Con. Yes, maybe. indeed. What a what a, wow, dude! How awesome! How cool, man! And just like oh, fucking wow! And a great team on that, you know. Source Point Press, everybody fucking pulled the strings, man. What a great time! So we're like, let's tackle a convention. Right. Let's try. Let's try our hand at a convention. Let's see what happens. And the biggest tackle that we found out so far about with that is like trying to reach out to talent. A lot of people don't want to do what they call first time cons. Right. And I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't really like assume that. Like I didn't. I didn't know. We went into this completely blind. Like just assuming that you know. And they're like. We don't want to do first time cons. And I'm like, and I really didn't get it. And I now that I get, I get a little bit more. I mean, I can see, you know, you don't want to. What if it's a? What if it's a? What if it's a flop? Right, right. You know what I mean? So I understand. I, I get that. But it's like, you know, we're not gonna feel that it's. A, you know, we're 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 like, it's gonna be the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, you, I understand where you're at, but on our half of the fence, we're like, yeah, you know. So so yeah. So I understand their position. But a lot of people have been really, you know, had our backs and been done ho. We got Bill Mosley, Kane Hodder, Sid Haig, uh, Tyler Maine, John Heater, just to name a few. Yeah. Booker T. I mean, the list just keeps growing. More and more talents coming on. We got video games. I mean, it's it's shaping up to be like the fucking event of the year and it's our first hand at something great like that so it, again you know what i mean it's like we have in in our in our vicinity of michigan we have something called the motor city comic con and right. it only comes once a year mm -hmm. so i've always been a fat kid so i'm greedy so i need something like santa claus only comes once a year i need something that's twice a year even thrice a year so yeah, if the yeah, astronomicon yeah. can mark its niche in Michigan or anywhere for that fact i don't want it to just be in michigan i want it to come back to michigan as well but i want it to be everywhere at least a year, annual thing. Definitely. You know what I mean? To get it around the world so we can get it out here and have just one more thing for us to spread around. That's not necessarily music. It's a pop culture event. So it'll span movies, television, music, a little bit of everything just to have, you know, a new a new world, man, to keep it 2018 and, and forward because as soon as we bat our eyes, it's going to be Christmas time, man. It's going to be... We just, we just leaked the ad map for fucking New Year's Evil 10. Right. Like, oh my God, man. Yeah. It just does not stop. And that's a good thing, though. They're supposed to... I'm supposed to be saying that when you don't have nothing to talk about, then you're supposed to be fucked up. But I got nothing but shit to talk about. So, you know, I'm rambling rose in this motherfucker. Now, I know you guys got another release coming up next summer, too, right? We do. We are working on two, two more Twisted Projects. Um, one of them is a musical and one of them is a not musical. That's all I can say right now. Okay. I'm all being right. being very speculative. I'm getting I'm getting the evil eye back there, but you, that's me and you's exclusive. 
But yeah, you know what I mean? That's just some we got some good shit on the horizon. We're trying to keep it we're trying to keep it entertaining. Um again, we've been blessed to have everybody who's been with us for the, along for the ride, people that have stood by our side uh through the split, through through everything that we've done, stayed by our side and uh and and we appreciate you guys. And we've been nothing but thankful and tried to reciprocate and show our thanks. I mean, cool shit like uh like even uh coming up um for Devil's Night and October 31st, we have this cool thing where we're doing at, at the merch booth right now. I need $20 spent, get you a raffle ticket, and that's on the website as well, every $20, and you get to become part of a listening party. Awesome. There'll be 30 people on Devil's Night and 31 people on, uh, obviously, Halloween to get to listen to the Year of the Sword album. That's fucking Brand new cool. compilation, just something neat. Yeah, we're patting people down, no cameras, no recording devices, right. no telephones. Just listen to it in its entirety. Here's some popcorn. Just enjoy it. We never got to do that. Like right. we even tell our employees, this is crazy shit. Like when we when we're recording in the studio and employees come upstairs, we're like, turn it off. If the juggalos can't hear it first, you can't either. Right. They're right, like, man. that's dickhead shit. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. You're no one special. You're our fans are just as special as you are. So if our family's special, your family, you're special, get the fuck out of here. They're like, okay. So these people are gonna get a special chance to hear it before the masses do. So this is something cool. Dude. We're just trying to make it fresh. We got a special song. We recorded two Halloween songs with two hand-drawn covers. One's given away one night, one's given away the other night. So we got fun stuff there, trick-or-treats. I don't even know what song's given away which night. It's a special trick-or-treat for me. So when I go there, I'm like, which one are you guys giving away tonight? We, I drew one of the covers. My boy Eric drew the other one. So it's hand-drawn art for each cover. Just trying to put the fun back into it, man. Because it's like, after 20 years, people have stood by us like fucking love. And, and that's all I can do is give love back, man. Because we're just fucking happy that they're here. And I can't, I can't say I love y'all enough. Now, I'm getting the word that um, I gotta let you go, so I got okay. one final question. No worries, no worries. You mentioned the split. Yes. Now, do you find it fucking hard for somebody that you've been with for so long to go ahead and start trying to pull fans apart? Like, dividing them? They did the fucking diss track? You know, I honestly think it's like everybody's entitled to their opinion. I honestly think that I, I believe, I'm a firm believer that everyone's entitled to their opinion, and I'm also a firm believer that all of our fans and all of our family and everybody that been down with us since the day one or even yesterday even if you just found us yesterday I'm a firm believer that you got a good head on your shoulders I'm a, I'm a firm believer that you're a good person and I'm a firm believer that you're entitled to your own opinion so if you like us then continue to like us and if you don't like us and you have a valid reason not to like us then don't like us but if you don't have a valid reason to like us and you're just liking us because John and Jane Q fucking somebody told us not well, that's a shitty reason so I wouldn't like you if just somebody told me and they didn't even have a reason. Well, fuck that guy. Why? Because I don't like him. If he didn't do shit to you, then there's no reason for you not to like that guy. Other than, you know what I mean? Right. So that's a shitty come with a reason. And people's, people's opinions are not fucking reasons. So you don't like our music. You don't, you, we, we didn't support you. We didn't show you love. I don't know. You know what I mean? Fucking right. Man. Right on, man. 100%. That's how I feel about it. But people want to follow up. They want to know more about all the shit we talked about. They yes, sir. They tour dates. They want to see everything like that. It's the best place for them to go and see Facebook. Official Twisted Facebook. You can hit us up on Twitter. Uh, uh, that's at uh, Tweet Me So Hard. You can get us on uh, Instagram at Official Twisted. Snapchat. Everything is Official Twisted. Um, hit us up, man. We are fucking so in-depth in, into social media. We're on there almost every other day in the in the chats in the comment sections we're just we're like we're like fucking we're always in there we have shovels we just stay deep in that shit so if you want to talk to us we're not hard to get at we do communicate with people so talk to us we talk back perfect that's man. what's up man i appreciate your time hey man i appreciate your Looking time brother for another 20 years Thanks, brother appreciate